Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. Right, um, today I'm going to be making chicken, <laughs> not only just chicken, I'm actually going to be making chicken sausages. I saw this recipe um, on a TV show the other night and he did it with turkey. Um, I've got loads of chicken so I thought I'd have a go of making my own chicken sausages. The same ingredients apply, um, the only thing I'm not going to add into mine is chilli because I've got a husband that doesn't like things too spicy so I thought I would just do it plain simple, sage and onion and chicken. So in this bowl here, there you go, I've got a cooked onion with some sage. All I did was cooked it in a little bit of fry light and then added a little bit of water just so I didn't use too much fry light and it helped cook it down a lot quicker. I cooked this beforehand because it has to be cold. It has to be cold before you put it in with your chicken mince. I didn't have any chicken mince, so what I did is I had chicken breast and I put them in my food processor. Let's have a look. And I blitzed it. I will actually pulsed it just to get it to form some sort of mince. So in there, I've got 500 grams of mince, well, pulsed up chicken breast. And all I'm going to do is add the the onions and sage, salt and pepper into the food processor and combined it. I'm going to add one egg and that will hold it all together. Job done. I'll then roll it in cling film to make like little sausages. And then all you do is poach it for 10 minutes in hot water. You put some on top of it to hold it under water. In cookery terms it's called a cartouche. But you can just put a lid on it and just keep making sure they're under the water all the time. It's up to you. Um, and then once they're cooked, you take them out and you can freeze them as of then. Or if you want to use them, you can use them in a stew or with your breakfast. And if you're going to do that, just put them in a fry light frying pan or under the grill just to brown the outside because they are fully cooked. So I'm going to just crack on with this right now. So in here, as I said, I've got 500 grams of uh, chicken and an onion. Well, it's actually two onions and some sage that's that just cut my egg sorry um again do apologize for this i forgot to get it all ready there's always something i forget but there we go as always make sure you crack your egg into another bowl make sure that it's not bad Pop that in there, and all you're going to do is pulse it. Don't blitz it because it will turn it. You need it to be give a bit of body. You don't want it too sloppy, or they won't hold together, even when you put them in the cling film. And that's it. Done. Four pulses, and now I've got a lovely mixture in there that I'm going to roll up into sausages. I will come back when I've done a few. Right, I just thought I'd quickly show you how to roll one of these up. It can be a bit tricky, but you can, you know, have quite a few practices. Put some sausage meat or the chicken mix, or whatever it is you're making, on the cling film. And then completely turn it over on itself. And then just keep going. Turn, turn, just keep going all the way. There is a lot of wastage on the cling film, I'm afraid. And then once you get it like this, just, and there you go, a little sausage. Oops, caught one of the other ones up. And because you're twisting it, it should remove any air. And then all you do is you just tie a knot in the end. Before you put it into the water, just make sure that they are completely sealed. There you go. If in doubt, you can always put a little bit more cling film over the top just to make sure. And you're only going to be gently poaching them. There you go. I know it's a little sausage, but hey, it's not what it's going to taste absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'll be back when I've done the rest. Well, there you go, guys. I've actually managed to make nine out of that. Yeah, we've got some funny shapes, but that's roughly the shape you're trying to go for. Um, they are, as I say, different shapes. They will should still all cook roughly the same time. 
I'm going to put them in boiling water, well, simmering water, not boiling, because if you put them in boiling water, they will explode, and that'll be a horrible mess and waste of time. So, I've got the water on boiling, what I'm going to do is turn that right down, so it's just simmering, put these in, put a cartouche or piece of paper over the top, and make sure they stay under the water for 10 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're done. Uh, right, they are cooked. They look absolutely lovely. A bit anemic, but don't hold sausages before you brown them off. And here they are. Gorgeous little sauce. Yes, we've got some funny shape sizes, but you know what? They are all cooked. I checked them on my probe to make sure that they were all cooked and they are cooked all the way through. What I'm going to do now is pop one of these little things into the frying pan so we can see what it's like um, once it's cooked. I'll be back with you in a moment. Well, there it is. One sausage that's been browned in the fry, frying pan with fry light, cooked all the way through. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, I had to do that. That is absolutely amazing. Please, guys, try this recipe. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Next time I've got a taster, I promise I will bring these. They are absolutely amazing. Right, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, tell me what you'd like me to do next. And all the information and how I make them are in the description box. See you guys soon. Bye.